Boys and girls, we're back. Question number two. Moving on now, we're talking about chemical changes, uh, solids, liquids, and gases. All right, guaranteed to see it on the test. All right, so question number two, let's look at it. It says water freezing is an example of A. A lot of times when students see a question like this, it's very wordy. A lot of word choices here. They get very nervous, and right away they just guess. This is actually one of the easiest questions to do. What you want to start with is the basic. It says water freezing is an example of. So water going from a liquid to a solid. So let's look at our choices, okay? First thing we want to do is we want to look for the one that makes no sense at all. First one says liquid changing to a solid. Now, why does that want to ring a bell? Because water is in the liquid state Freezing might be changing it into a solid. So what we want to do is we want to hold on to that. We want to put a little question mark there because that might be the right answer. Coming to number two, it says solid changing to a liquid. Well, we know water in its original state is not solid, so this has got to go. Boom. This is out. So now we left ourselves with three possible choices, okay? Gas changing to a solid. Okay, in this question, let me ask you. Is it talking anything about gas? Is it saying anything about a gaseous substance? No, so you know that this, this and this doesn't even match up, so they gotta go. Okay, and then the same thing again, whenever you see a sentence starting with gas, especially when you see the question starting with a liquid, you know this has gotta go as well too. So that's gone. So right away, we're left with A again. Now A says liquid changing to a solid. Is that the correct answer? Well, of course it is. All right, so you got water, which is a liquid, Freezing means it's going to change into a solid. So when you look at this example, a lot of times, like I said, from this perspective, it could be pretty scary. But once we break it down and look for the context clues, it's no problem. So A is the right answer.